How to get wrinkles out of a duvet cover. Many people yearn to have bedrooms that look as pristine as a swish hotel room, with wrinkle-free bedsheets. So how do you go about getting these unsightly wrinkles out of your duvet cover? First thoughts will always land on the iron, after all, they are built to get creases out of fabrics. You can, of course, iron your duvet cover before you put it on the bed, more on that later. But can duvets be ironed on the bed? This seems like the most practical option, so there has to be a way to do it, doesn't there? Well, yes. You can iron your duvet cover while it's on the bed, but there are a couple of things you will want to consider before taking the iron straight to your bedding. Will heat damage your mattress? Always check the label on your mattress or consult the manufacturer if you are unsure about whether an iron could damage your mattress. As a rule of thumb, don't iron on the bed if you have a memory foam or latex mattress. Keep it quick. Moving quickly over the surface with your iron will ensure that no burning occurs and will ensure your quilt won't melt or clump. If you know your mattress won't get ruined by ironing bedsheets on the bed, then here's the quickest way to do it. Spritz a little bit of water over your duvet cover, don't be heavy-handed with this. Move the iron in quick sweeping motions over your sheets. Pull the material taut to help pull out more creases as you go. This is a great option for a speedy solution to wrinkle-free duvet covers. If you want to maintain this look, there are other ways to go about removing creases from your bedsheets. When shopping for your bedding, opt for cotton polyester blends which tend to crease less readily and they are much easier to iron. Most bedding starts life a little starchy straight from the packet, so always wash bedding before using it. This should soften the fabric a bit and get rid of some of those big creases from being folded up in a pack. During a wash cycle, bedding can get super twisted and tangled, leaving it pretty creased when it comes out of the machine. So to reduce this crinkling a bit, make sure to add fabric softener to your wash load. Also, make sure to empty your washer as soon as the cycle finishes, sheets left in the drum will end up with deeper set wrinkles which will make your ironing job harder to do. Hanging bed sheets on a washing line is a great technique for keeping away wrinkles as the constant movement of the sheets in the breeze combined with the weight pulling them taut creates the perfect conditions for natural crease removal. If you have a tumble dryer, you can use dryer balls in with your bedding. Creating movement inside the drum to stop things from tangling up together hindering a lot of wrinkles from forming. Create your very own steamer in your tumble dryer to help loosen up creases. Add two or three ice cubes into the dryer drum with your bedding and set to high for around 15 minutes. This high heat and the steam combined will give great decreasing results. Popping a clean damp cloth in the dryer with your sheets will also have the same steamy effect as the ice cubes. When it comes to ironing, leave your bedsheets the slightest bit damp, as this extra moisture will cause a steaming effect and help to soften the fabric as you smooth it with the iron. As we mentioned at the beginning, ironing is the number one most practical way to get smooth, crease-free duvet covers. It can seem like a bit of a chore, especially when we're talking king and super king duvet covers and maybe even a whole household of bedding to get through. But don't fear, there is a quicker way to get duvet covers flat than laying the entire thing out and doing it in sections. Folding it up and ironing it. This may sound counterintuitive but it works and makes things much easier. Make sure to do up buttons or poppers before you start folding, this will help to keep it in shape. You will want to aim for a neat square before you start ironing, so pull the corners taut as you fold, to make sure no sneaky creases occur in between layers. Once you have your flat square, you can start ironing. Set your iron to the highest setting and make sure there is plenty of water in your iron to get the maximum steam power. Can you remove wrinkles from bedding without an iron? We would definitely recommend a steamer, as this combination of heat and steam is what packs that crease removing punch. However, there are a few different ways that you can do wrinkle bedsheets without an iron. Here are a few ideas that may work for you. Use a metal pan, sounds strange, but this creates a handy portable iron that can be used to smooth your sheets. Boil some water in a metal pan, insulated or plastic handled, and then tip away the water to leave you with a hot pan. Run this over your sheets to smooth away creases. Make sure the bottom of your pan is clean before doing this, or it could get messy. Roll up sheets and put under the mattress, the trick to this is getting your roll as smooth and tight as possible to eliminate any folds or deep creases from being formed. Once under the mattress, you could apply some weight on top to truly press this sheet roll. Another method is using a hairdryer and water spritz. Like a steamer, this method applies heat and creates steam from the addition of water before using the hairdryer. Spritz the duvet cover with water, 
You can do this when the bed is made, then start applying hot air from your hairdryer. Make sure to move around a lot to avoid the hairdryer overheating and to allow the cover to move a bit, adding to the drying power. DIY Wrinkle Release Spray There are sprays available on the market which are used to remove wrinkles from fabrics, but you could try making your own. How do I keep my bed sheets wrinkle free? Now you've got your bedding flat and unwrinkled, you will more than likely want to keep it that way. The best way to keep your bedding crinkle and crease free is to not sleep in it, we're just kidding. Although that would keep it looking pristine. Of course, as you use your bed, it might get scrunched up, folded and end up looking like a twisted mess. But if you make sure to straighten it out each morning and pull the corners taut as much as you can, this should help to make it look pretty decent again. One trick which is actually highly recommended anyway is to wash your bedding frequently. Not only is this great for hygiene reasons, but washing will help to soften the fabric, especially cotton, and help it to be less starchy and not hold creases as freely. Every week, change up your bedding and make sure to add fabric softener to your bedsheet wash. Use your wrinkle release spray to get rid of any annoying crinkles that crop up in between washes, or opt for the hot metal pan method, whichever suits you best. Now enjoy your lovely smooth, wrinkle-free duvet cover.